Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to interface a relay with the, our, one of our digital clock kits. Maybe in the future I'll, I'll uh, redesign it and put a uh, relay on it. But there is an output that controls the buzzer as well that you can use to drive a relay. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. Uh, as soon as you power it up, it starts in 24 hour clock mode. Press switch 3, 3 times. And it'll put you into countdown mode. So if I want a six second countdown, I'll press switch one six times. And I'll press switch two until the full count is zero 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 six. And I'll press switch two again to start it. Relay turns on, power is applied to the LED. I'll press switch two again to turn it off. Now uh, you, a relay can, such as this is 5 volts. It can control 120 volts AC. It can control high DC or AC power loads. Uh, I'm just using it to switch power to uh, an LED on as an indicator. It's just to show you how, how it can be done. Uh, what I've done is I've connected the common pin of the relay to 5 volts and the normally open pin to the LED and the LED is connected to ground. So when the relay activates uh, internally, the common pin connects to the normally open pin, which provides power to the LED. It's just a switch. That's all it is. Uh, and a relay requires uh, voltage going through its coil, so it can magnetize and internally switch that switch. It's a, it's a, it's an electro, essentially a little, little electromagnetic switch. So all you really need to do this is a 5 volt regulator, a couple capacitors are a good idea, uh, an NPN tr transistor, a 10k uh, resistor relay, a diode for surge protection, and something to power your output. I would have a terminal block there. One of our relay kits would be very well interfaced with this. However, the 7805 is, is, is required because we're using the battery to power the board and the relay circuit separately because the 78L05 on the board here can't power both this device and the relay because the relay demands a bit more power and it would get really really hot and you might damage it and and uh, and you, or certainly screw up your the operation of your clock temporarily so um, 7805 relay setup let's try one more again uh, let's try one more time sorry uh, we can program it for let's say 11 seconds So after 11 seconds, the relay will turn on, power will be applied to the LED. But you can use this for lighting, you can use it for all sorts of stuff. It's neat. Uh, my cat certainly does not like the beep. You can actually, if you'd like to, when you make the kit, you can take out the piezo buzzer if you don't want the piezo buzzer there, just want the relay to turn on. It really makes no difference. The piezo buzzer basically just, it's supposed to be an alarm to indicate. Anyway, uh, what I'll do is now I'm going to unplug this and show you how I did it. What we've got here is our 9-volt battery connector. Uh, on the, the J1 connector, it says uh, ground, GND, and VCC. VCC is your power input, and that's 9 volts. So as you can see, the positive uh, voltage on the 9-volt connector, which is commonly red, goes to the VCC pin, and the ground, the negative, goes to the ground pin. Now anything that you'll see with an uh, upside down triangle on it means ground. So they're interconnected. So that's connected to that, to that, to that, uh, to that. Yeah, so those are all connected together. Those are all common ground. As you can see, we've also got uh, spliced on our positive 9 volt line a uh, 10 microfarad capacitor uh, placed in parallel with ground connected also to the input of a 7805. The middle pin of the 7805 is grounded, and the third pin is your regulated 5 volts, meaning we've got 9 volts in, 5 volts out, regulated. Uh, we've got a decoupling capacitor in parallel with that in ground, just to filter out any ambient noise. Uh, <coughs> the uh, regulated 5 volts and interconnected is here and here, and uh, so that 5 volts powers our relay, our relay coil rather. The uh, the output signal comes from J3. Now on the board it's labeled GND, which is ground, which is of course connected to our common ground, and out. Out is the signal that will turn on our relay. 
I've labeled it signal. So there's protective 10K resistor in series of the signal line and the base of the transistor. That's an NPN transistor. You can use a 2N2222 uh, or a, uh, a 2N4401 low power tra uh, NPN transistor. The, uh, there's five pins to the relay. There's pin 1, pin 2, pin 3, pin 4, pin 5. Pin 1 and pin 2 are coil pins. And uh, when power is applied to the base of the transistor, 5 volts travels through the coil, magnetizes the coil, goes through the transistor to ground. And when the, tra and when the coil is magnetized, the, uh, the internal relay turns on. Now by default, the common pin, CO, is connected to the normally connected pin, which is pin 5. When you turn on the relay, when the uh, coil is magnetized, Pin 3, the common pin, connects to the normally open pin. So you can use it as just a magnetic switch. And these are high, these are, you know, thick leads. You can use them for high power applications and control them using a 5 volt signal. The 1N4001 diode uh, between the two coil pins is uh, important because when you turn off the relay and that, um, the, the magnetic field collapses along that coil, it causes a nice big spike which can hurt the transistor and it can hurt the signal line. It can, it can also possibly transfer back through the board. So that diode is very, very important. You have to have the negative cathode connected to the 5 volt line and the uh, anode positive connected to the uh, collector of the transistor. Now if you turn that around, what's going to happen is you're going to have 5 volts travel through the uh, travel directly through the diode and to ground when the base of the transistor turns on which would be a short circuit and everything would die. So you got to make sure that the negative is connected to the 5 volt line and that the uh, positive is connected to the collector of the transistor. So I hope that was clear enough. There's really not a whole lot to it. Uh, all relays are, are different. What I'll do is I'll show you the pinout of the uh, relay right now. Again, I've got it labeled pin 1, pin 2 for coil pins, pin 3 for, common, uh, for the common pin, 4 for the normally open pin, and 5 for the normally connected pin. As you can see, pin 1 and pin 2, left and right, are your coil pins. Pin 3 is your common pin. And by default, right now, in its current state, pin 3 is connected to pin 5 internally, dead short. And when you apply power to the two uh, coil pins, what happens is the common pin then switches to pin 4 and is no longer connected to pin 5 while the relay is activated. So, currently, pin 3 is connected to pin 5 when the relay is activated. Power is applied to pins 1 through pins 1 and 2 to ground. 3 is connected to pin 4. Hopefully that makes sense. And uh, hopefully you learned uh, and can, from this video how hopefully you can use this video. Uh, you can set it up for... Turn on your Christmas lights at a certain time. You know, have some fun with it. You can also use the... Uh, you can also use the... Um, clock alarm setting. So... You can set your clock alarm to say 6:30. At 6:30, the relay turns on. And again, if you want to, you can take out the piezo buzzer if you find that annoying and you don't need it. Anyhow, I hope you found this interesting. Thanks again for watching, everyone.